the comeback, come back to the technology dimension now. It's going to be the fourth session from Oracle as a long term career partner. In the last session we just discussed about Oracle Converse database and we just went through that small video as well. And let's continue from that point onwards. So the next thing is, let's take a look at more on this on products, Oracle product. That is uh, what we have been doing. Converse database. We just went in to see more details. We just went in to see more details of that one. You can just uh, copy this URL, and if you visit that website, you will see. This is about licensing. Not only licensing. Now, if you can remember Oracle 12.1 and prior to 12.1, 11G databases. The versions or the editions, actually the editions, database editions we had. You may, if you just recall, you may remember we had personal edition, we had Express edition, enterprise edition, standard edition, standard edition one. Likewise, all the on-premise editions, and only few of those editions. But since Oracle introduced the cloud, now those editions there are many actually, and now those things are known as database offerings. Database offerings. So that's the document that we are going to take a look at now. This also comes under their product range. Now, if you take a look at it, first the uh, document explains on on-premise versions, on-premise offerings. Then it goes for the cloud. So the very first one is Oracle Express Edition, which is a total pre one. You will understand what you mean by total pre and pre in Oracle in upcoming discussions. And Express Edition it has certain limited pages, but of course with the uh, 21C. It has some enhanced features because it's totally free. And this guide again will give you that more details. Oracle pre-license HTML. So let's take a look at that one later. Now the Oracle Express Edition. Then we have on-premise Stand Edition two, and we have the Enterprise Edition, the Ultimate Edition. Now these things are not free, not total free. It is free for testing and learning, not total free. Any of these products in Oracle, I mean, especially the on-premise products, it's free for testing and learning. As far as you are not doing business with it, you can learn testing and learn. But Express Edition, you can do business even with it because it's total free. Enterprise Edition, free for testing and learning. All of the all of the others except the Express Edition are free for testing and learning. You can download the product and use it for testing and learning purposes. And enterprise edition. Then we have enterprise edition ES. That is engineer systems. ES engineer system. That is uh, they are talking about extra data systems, extra data on premise. And there is another one called Oracle appliances. Appliances means ready made, customized installations uh, based on the requirements of the customers. And further we have personal edition. That is also on premise, single user licenses or single. Per Use usages, not uh, certain features are not available, but most of the features are available in personal edition as well. It's somewhat uh, lesser. I mean, not like the enterprise edition. Enterprise edition is ultimate edition, but goes closer to standard edition. Standard edition two as well, personal edition. And we have after that. Now here it changes the. On-premise editions, personal edition, enterprise edition, engineer systems, and standard edition two, then express edition. So those are the on-premise offerings. Then comes the cloud offering. So in the cloud offering, the very first one you can see Oracle Cloud Service Standard Edition (BBC SC) and Cloud Service Enterprise Edition. And then we have high performance. Then we have extreme performance. So these are specifically geared for performance. That's what it says. Includes database enterprise edition software plus all the database options and Oracle 
management pack that are appropriate for use in Oracle Cloud service. Yes, so in Oracle Cloud, we have the management pack and the tuning pack and those things are there, management services and other one. So that is for in cloud. Anyway, let's discuss those things later, not now. This is just to show you the offerings, Oracle Exadata Cloud Service and the Cloud Customer. So those are the offerings in Oracle Cloud. Standard Edition, Enterprise Edition, High Performance, Extreme Performance, Cloud Service, Cloud Customer. That's all. So that is that document, but in the document is they go on explaining about licensing as well. And again, each of these offerings has options, option packs. There are separate licensable options are there. And if you just go down, this table is continuing to explain in more detail. But let's not get into that much of detail at the moment. But if anyone interests to get about licensing information, yes, uh, you can go to this uh, table. This is on 21C. Let us. Okay, let's get back to our document oracle we have here we went to this just now then net suit so net suit is what that is cloud erp if you just yeah you use this one net suit cloud erp as per oracle this number one we can't say as per oracle but anyway as a cloud erp in the world this is number one and then again, when I say number one for anything, don't just depend on what I am telling because I am not going to statistically evidence-based justification I am doing. I am not doing it at the moment here in this particular explanation. But it's up to you. Just do a research. Uh, take a look at depending on the user experience, depending on the performance benchmark, ratings, whether it's number one or not. So the number one cloud DRP, that's what it is here indicated. That is on uh, NetSuit ERP. The number one cloud ERP. And that is what indicated here in the website. Then we have, I think a small video is there on NetSuits and two minutes video. Let me include it uh, in this particular session as well. It's two minutes video. If you're new to NetSuite, welcome. I trust that this presentation will give you a better overall grasp of NetSuite what it is, who uses it, and why it may be just what your company has been looking for. First, NetSuite is an ERP, an enterprise resource planning software. So what does that mean for you? As a full ERP, NetSuite can manage all of your business processes. Does your company have an accounting system, an inventory management system, a way to keep track of HR and CRM? NetSuite can do all those things and much more. So who can use NetSuite? The short answer is anyone. Over 26,000 businesses worldwide currently use NetSuite. These businesses cover a wide range of industries, including everything from agriculture, manufacturing, and software to healthcare, retail, and marketing. Basically, if your business does it, NetSuite does it. Why would a business like yours choose to use NetSuite? What are some of the benefits? We're so glad you asked. In a nutshell, NetSuite's primary benefits are that it is accessible, customizable, and scalable. Let's take a closer look at each one of these benefits. NetSuite is a cloud-based business software, which means that you and your team can easily access your data from anywhere, whether you're working in the office, the warehouse, or even your home. You may be concerned about the integrity of your company's information with such an easily accessed software, but don't worry, NetSuite's got you covered with its comprehensive system of roles and permissions. Having access to all your company's data 24-7 from wherever you are empowers you to make timely decisions for your business. NetSuite is also highly customizable. With features like safe searches, custom fields, and workflows, NetSuite allows you to personalize your experience so that you and your company get the most out of your ERP investment. In addition to these user-friendly front-end features, NetSuite Suite Script enables developers to further customize what NetSuite does for you through coding on the back end of the software. As a result of NetSuite's customizability, your experience of NetSuite can be as flexible and varied as you need it to be. In addition to being accessible and customizable, NetSuite is scalable. Is your business growing? Are your systems starting to feel the strain of your growth? NetSuite can comfortably support your business where you are today and keep up with where you're going tomorrow. 
for one thing. NetSuite consists of a variety of modules and you only pay for what you actually use. Modularity means NetSuite seamlessly upscales as your business grows. In addition, NetSuite's One World enables companies with multiple subsidiaries to coordinate and integrate systems across subsidiaries. NetSuite's scalability ensures that your company and you will not be held back by limited systems from reaching your fullest potential. So where does SuiteRep come in? We get it, transitioning to an ERP like NetSuite can be a daunting task, but SuiteRep has many years of experience helping businesses make this transition as seamlessly as possible and we would love to do the same for you. Our consultants, administrators, and developers have also helped successfully train and prepare users on best processes and workflows. With SuiteRep, you can rest assured you are in good hands with qualified professionals who understand NetSuite, value quality work, and prioritize meeting your needs. We look forward to seeing how we can best serve you. Then we have Oracle accounts. How do you log into Oracle website? So not like earlier, now actually we have two account types. We have the cloud login separately and we have normal Oracle website login separately. So that's why earlier Oracle website login, we normally telling it's a OTN login, Oracle Technology Network login which include a lot of uh, free resources, especially for learning purposes. There are a lot of free things on our OTN. But now that account is working separately. You can see Oracle accounts and we have the cloud account separately, OTN account separately. So if you just uh, log in into, if you just go into here, let's go there and yeah, so this is the Oracle main URL actually. And if, when you take a look at it, you can see on the right hand side top, this icon will tell two things. Sign into cloud and sign in. Now this is sign in means just for the Oracle technology network or just this website login. If you have an account, we can log in there. Otherwise, we just have to do a quick uh, sign up. And here, this is for Oracle cloud. Okay, if we, since I have an account, I can just log in. But if you don't have, please sign up and we have free free tier because even in Oracle Cloud, 300 credits are there if I'm not mistaken. You can take a look at it. And a lot of free tier services are available for you to utilize. And quick sign up and even here, quick sign up. So let me just sign into Oracle Cloud. It is SSO enabled. This is my account name and let's continue. Yeah, this is so enabled is there and I am selecting the available region. Okay, let me just log into there. Yeah, so I just went into my cloud subscription. This is my cloud account. This is my subscription as of now. So let's not uh, try to get into this and do some activities here at the moment. So just uh, my intention here is to just to show you the two different account types and the other account is and you can just Okay, you can either log out from here. So this is Oracle, my account, and you can go back again. Or simply you can just go back. I just put a logged out. That's okay. I think you can just paste that URL. And now you can just log into the normal website, Oracle account. And that's a different login actually. And we can just log in. I didn't try to integrate these two. There should be a way to integrate, but uh, at the moment I am also using separately. It's striped out. So this is uh, Oracle normal uh, cloud, uh, previously known as the OTN account. And now it is, uh, I'm in their normal website. It is uh, asking to sign into cloud because I am in a, no, in their just a web login I have done for the Oracle website. Just uh, take a look at it. a lot of free stuff is there. So we'll uh, go little by little into details on the free stuff because documentation, online learning, Oracle by example series, a lot of other resources, product download, a lot of things are available here. So let's uh, do it little by little. As per this scope at this level, so just to demonstrate the login. Fine. Then Oracle products. So products download. 
So we can just visit here right away Oracle Database Technologies yeah, Software Download 19C. So it will be right away now. This is the database download. Even from here you can we can take a look at if you want to download database should be there. Applications, integrated networking, machine learning, and uh, yeah, if we just go down. Yes, I up to database. We have uh, data services, compute, autonomous database, that is cloud actually, and database software, this is what, Oracle database. So we can take a look at downloads when you go down, download 19C. So it's the same thing, even that uh, notepad URL will take you to the same place. Let's just click on here. Here you have the download versions at the moment. This is 19C and even 21C is available. Uh, this is a Linux, so Solaris based, Linux based, all uh, different platforms it is available. And if you just go back, I think uh, 21C also should be available. Yeah, we have Oracle Database 21C. If you go down, more details are there. And this is for normal minimum downloads. But Oracle, they have a dedicated website for downloads. This one, e-delivery. This is dedicated for product downloads in Oracle. Pre and total pre-products. Yeah, let's discuss that one after this. If we just visit that place, e-delivery, e-delivery.oracle.com. Again, you need to have a pre-login. So let me just sign in. Same login, same OTN login will work there. So I am in same login, yeah, this one, Luxury V76. So we can just take a look at, I mean, even database, let's say I want to download OEL, Oracle Enterprise Linux. And if we just type OEL, it will just filter it out. And once I click here, so then uh, all the current available OEL versions are given for me, even 8.5. Now the latest is 8.5, if I click here, and I can just continue to download like this and I can just click on continue downloads. You can't continue. That's the place. And just take a look at it is at the top right. Right top uh, you have to click continue to continue download. And then I have to select the whether it's uh, 64 bit or 32 bit and likewise just uh, take a look at it. Uh, this is dedicated for downloads uh, website. From Oracle, it is dedicated for downloads. And even database, most of the products, all of uh, all downloadable products are available here from edelivery.com. Great. Other one, pre and total pre. So I just mentioned earlier in Oracle, certain products are pre, certain products are total pre. Now, for example, Oracle Express Edition XC. This is a total pre product. That means uh, you can test, learn, and you can do business also. And you can run a business, profitable business using Express Edition. But another product, let's say Enterprise Edition, Standard Edition, likewise. This I'm talking about database, Enterprise Edition. And these things are not total pre, but pre. Pre for testing and learning. Testing and learning, it is pre. It is pre. Otherwise, you are doing a business with it, you need to license it. There are situations that uh, certain people are using for business, but the problem is uh, when you continue to use at certain places, these bugs are getting appeared because you are going to continue to use the features, enhancing features, features like as far as standalone database, it might work, but still you're trying to do query optimization, tuning certain advanced features. And if you continue to use the data guard features, active data, clustering, like there are a lot of advanced security, job queuing, those features, what will happen? The bugs will appear. Now to fix this bugs, fix this bug, you need patches. Now these patches are not downloadable unless you have my support login. My support login. Now to get my support login, definitely you need to license your product. Then only you get the support ID and the login downloadable because just having read only my support also won't work you can just view the knowledge base and you can just view the patch details and the about bug fixing detail but you cannot download the patches download the patches unless you have proper license with download privilege 
So that's where you get caught even if you try to use this pre-product for business. So better is not a good practice. But even if you do that, definitely at this stage you need to go for licensing. With support. Support is optional, but you have to get the My Support uh, login with the, by paying and do the relevant licensing. So that is about pre and total pre products with Oracle. Great. I think we can uh, stop for that session here. And after that, let's continue with Oracle Cloud. Now, up to now, we have been focusing a lot of things on on premise. So let's uh, start the cloud desktop under Oracle as a long term carrier session. Let's, I'll meet you in the next video with uh, Oracle Cloud. Both. This will just uh, compare where is at the moment Oracle as a cloud provider, what is its position, and we'll continue to discuss more details. Great. I'll meet you in the next session. Have a great time. Bye bye.